Alright everyone, and hello, it is me, Jay Burns, and it is time for part 3 of How to Loom the Triple Single Pet Lion Bracelet. In this part, I am going to be showing you how to loom your bracelet and how to make your extension. If you haven't watched part 1 or part 2 yet, the links to those tutorials will be in the description. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, now as you can see here, I have the pink background, and the pink background is back, and that means it's time to loom. But before we do loom, you're going to need to get this B color rubber band I told you to get, and you're also going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing towards you. Now also, make sure you have your hook nearby. But before we do begin looming this bracelet, we're going to need to make a cap band. And to make a cap band, what you're going to do is you're going to take this B color rubber band, and you're going to twist it into an H or infinity shape like this, and then you're going to fold this rubber band back on top of itself like a book, and now it should look like you have two rubber bands instead of one. Now you're going to put this cap band on this first middle pin, like this, and now you can actually get your hook and prepare to start looming. Now, looming this bracelet is going to be very, very easy, especially if you already know how to loom a triple single bracelet. That is basically what this is. And to begin, we're going to start here on this first middle pin. And we're going to pull back this cap band, and we're going to grab the top rubber band underneath of this cap band, and we're going to loom it outwards to this second left pin. That is where this rubber band should be coming from. Then, once you're here on the second left pin, you're going to pull back this top rubber band, grab the very bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to this third left pin. Then, once you're here on this third left pin, you're going to pull back this top rubber band, grab the very bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to this fourth left pin. Then here on this fourth left pin, you're going to pull back the top rubber band, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to this fifth left pin. Now, once you get here to this fifth left pin, you run into your first little body part. And this first body part is a foot. And all you're going to do is when you run into anything on this bracelet, you're just going to pull back all of the top rubber bands. Just pull back all the top rubber bands. Grab the very bottom rubber band and loom it forwards to the next pin. So that's all you're going to do going up this left pin bar on your loom. And you're going to continue grabbing the bottom rubber band and looming it forwards to the next pin. All the way up until you get to this 13th left pin. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward from here. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, I do apologize if the lighting is eh, but it's really late right now, so... Anyway, as you can see here, I have stopped looming on this left row here when I got to this 13th left pin. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to loom this rubber band right here. Now, to loom this rubber band here that goes inwards from this 13th left pin to this 13th middle pin, you're just going to go into this 13th left pin, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it inwards to this 13th middle pin, because that is where this rubber band is coming from. 
So once you've loomed that rubber band there, you can come all the way back to this first middle pin. Now we're going to loom this middle row of rubber bands. And to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to this first middle pin, pull back the cap band, grab the top rubber band underneath of the cap band, and loom it forwards to the second middle pin. That is where this rubber band should be coming from. Now, looming this middle row of rubber bands here is the easiest of all three rows because there aren't any rubber bands that you need to pull back so you can loom another rubber band. Instead, you just go into the next pin, so in this case the second middle pin, grab the rubber band on that pin, and loom it forwards to the next middle pin, so this third middle pin. And you just do this all the way down your loom until you get to this 13th middle pin. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward from here. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, now as you can see here, I have finished looming this middle row of rubber bands, and I stopped looming once I got to the 13th middle pin. And that's because there aren't any rubber bands or anything after the 13th middle pin. So once you have finished looming this middle pin bar of rubber bands, you're going to now loom this right row of rubber bands. Now. To do this, you're going to return to this first middle pin one last time, and the first middle pin should have a cap band on it. And to begin looming the right row of rubber bands, you're just going to pull back the top rubber band here on this first middle pin, so the cap band, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it outwards to this second right pin. That is where this rubber band should be coming from. Then, once you're here on the second right pin, you're going to pull back this top rubber band, grab this very bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to this third right pin. Then, once you're here on this third right pin, you're going to pull back the top rubber band, grab this bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to this fourth right pin. And as you can already tell, Looming this right row of rubber bands is the same as looming the left. All you have to do is pull back the top rubber band, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the next pin. All the way down your loom until you get to this 13th right pin. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward from here. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, now I have finished looming this right row of rubber bands, and I am here on this 13th right pin, and all I need to do is loom this rubber band that goes inwards from this 13th right pin to this 13th middle pin. And to loom this rubber band here, all you're going to do is you're going to go into this 13th right pin, grab the very bottom rubber band, and loom it inwards to this 13th middle pin. And once you have loomed that rubber band there, you are now finished looming all of the rubber bands on your loom. Now once you have finished looming all of the rubber bands on your loom, your loom should look something like this now. Yay! <laughs> I 
Okay. So somebody else subscribed to me just now. Just, just literally scared me. But anyway, once your loom looks something like what I just showed you, you're going to get your hook once again. Just one more time. And you're also going to get the last B color rubber band you should have left. Now we are going to begin to take this bracelet off of our loom. Now, to take this bracelet off of our loom, make sure that the arrow on your loom is still pointing towards you. And to take this bracelet off of your loom, you're going to get your hook, and we're going to start here on this first middle pin. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just get our hook, and just pull all the rubber bands off of each pin, one pin at a time like this, all the way up our loom until we get to this 13th middle pin. Do not take the rubber bands off of this 13th middle pin. You will need these to finish off your bracelet. So do not take the rubber bands off of this pin. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward from here. All you're going to do is just get your hook and just take all the rubber bands off of each pin, one pin at a time, going all the way up your loom. So I'm going to fast forward from here. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, I have taken my whole bracelet off of my loom, and you can already see my little lion. There we go. And once you have taken all of the rubber bands off of your loom, except for these rubber bands on this 13th middle pin, you're going to get your hook and your last B color rubber band. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take our hook and stick it in this 13th middle pin and when we do make sure that when you stick your hook out to the side let me hold on that you catch all of the rubber bands on this pin and once that is true for you you're going to get this B color rubber band and you're going to put it in your hook's mouth like this and then you're going to slide your hook back up through this 13th middle pin Hold on a moment. There we go. And once you do this, you're going to put the other end of this rubber band that you're holding with your fingers onto your hook's neck with the other end of the rubber band. And you're going to pull all these rubber bands on this 13th middle pin off. And now you should have something like this on your hook. So once you have this, you're going to now get some more rubber bands. It doesn't matter what color they are, because now it's time to make the extension for our bracelet. Alright, so to make an extension for your bracelet, you're going to need your bracelet on your hook still, and you're also going to need two pins on your loom. You can choose what two pins, so choose any two pins, and also some rubber bands. Now, before we do make our extension, you're going to need to transfer these rubber bands on your hook onto these two rubber bands that you have chosen to make your extension on. And to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to transfer this rubber band onto these two pins. Now, you're going to get one end of this rubber band on your hook, just one end, and you're going to take it off of your hook, and you're going to put it on one of the two pins. Then you're going to get the other end of this rubber band and you're going to transfer it onto the other pin. So now you should have something like this on your loom. Now you can make any bracelet for an extension that only requires two pins. 
So you could make a fishtail extension if you wanted to. You could make any bracelet that requires two pins. Now, I'm just going to be making a single chain extension. And that's what I'm going to be showing you how to make. To make a single chain extension, you're just going to get an extension rubber band. And you're going to stretch it going across these same two pins as this rubber band down here that you've had to transfer. Then, you're going to get your hook and you're going to loom this bottom rubber band over the pins it is on and onto this rubber band you just placed above it. Then you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to get another extension rubber band and you're going to place it going across these two pins. The same two pins as this rubber band you placed before. Then you're going to loom this bottom rubber band onto this rubber band above it. Then you're going to do the exact same thing again. You're going to get an extension rubber band and you're going to stretch it going across these two pins, the same two pins as this rubber band you placed before. And you're going to now loom this bottom rubber band onto this rubber band above it. And as you can see, my extension is already forming. And your extension should be forming as well. And all you're going to do now is you're just going to continue this little pattern until you make your extension long enough so that your bracelet will fit around your wrist. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward from here. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, I have now made my extension long enough so that my bracelet will now fit around my wrist. And you should as well. Goodness. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get this rubber band here on our extension, so this last rubber band here, ready so we can place a clip on it. To do this, you're going to get your hook for like the last time, and what you're going to do is you're going to grab one side of this rubber band on these two pins, and you're going to bring it over to the other, on the other pin, like that. And now you should have something like this on your loom. Then you're going to get your hook once again and you're going to slide it into this pin here with the two layers of rubber band on it and you're going to pull this rubber band back to another pin on your loom. Now what you can do is you can get your clip and you can slide it onto these rubber bands here or on this rubber band. Now once you do that, you're going to go ahead and take this rubber band off of these two pins. And now your clip should be attached to one end of your bracelet, or this end of your extension. And now we need to attach the clip onto the other end of your bracelet, or in other words, your cap band. And to do this, you're just going to find the cap band on your bracelet. And you're going to stretch it going across any two pins on your loom, like that. And you're going to get your clip on this end of your extension. And you're going to attach it to this stretched out cap band. So, like this. And once you have your clip on your cap band, you can take the cap band off the pins. 
And now your clip should be attached to both ends of your bracelet. And what you can do is you can now adjust your bracelet so it's not all messy and stuff. And you can also put your bracelet on. And bam. So as you can see here, I am now wearing my triple single pet lion bracelet. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. And hopefully you have your triple single pet lion bracelet as well. And yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut these whiskers here. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that while I'm wearing it. So let me just take this off real quick. So if you're going to be cutting the whiskers, which if you already did, then this it's kind of a little late for you. But if you're going to be cutting the whiskers now like I am, what you're just going to do is you're just going to get this the little whisker rubber band all by itself so you don't cut any other rubber bands and you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to kind of cut it at the halfway mark I can even cut it you don't have to cut all the way through it you can just cut it a little bit so that it splits and then you can just pull it apart and then you have your first little actual whisker and then you'll do the same thing for the other one. Get your scissors and you'll cut it wherever you want. There we go. And now you have your other whiskers. And that's how you would cut those. So anyway, now it's time for the outro. So... I hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial. You probably didn't. You were probably like, ugh, why did I even bother watching this? Or you just didn't even bother finishing it, but hey, if you got here and you have your lion, awesome. And also, hopefully you have your little triple single pet lion bracelet, because that's what this is. And also, I hope you are enjoying your triple single pet lion bracelet. And, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and...